print that on the outside of the paper cartons. This is not a song about drinking 78 records, no. It's about one record in particular. About one record in particular. You know, folks, back in 1972, there was an auction in Los Angeles, California. Auction man said he had, he said he had, he said he had on the auction block that day. He had the rarest, rarest copy of Robert Johnson's Terraplane Blues. They ever discovered it in the history of American music. Right there on the auction block that day. Right there on the auction block, yeah. Step right up, folks, step right up. Step right up, folks, step right up, yeah. We got the Terraplane Blues on the auction block today. Step right up, sir, stick your nose in there now. Tell me now, that's what you smell there. What you smell, yeah. Still got that new pair of smell, that's right. Still in the original paper package, I might add. Why, this record has never been played, not once. Oh, just look at the thing, it's immaculate in every way. Step right up, folks. Terraplane blues on the auction block. Terraplane blues. By about five o'clock that afternoon, that record was busy. Busy working its way across the continental United States of America by Federal Express Courier. And let me tell you people something. It was expedited something terrible that day. It was on its way. It was on its way, on its way to meet its destiny. Destiny in the hands of the FedEx man. Oh, that's an oxymoron. Usually it's just a moron at the door. That's an oxymoron. Oh, that's right, that's right. This is about what happened to that river when it reached its destination. We paid $300 for a Johnson Terra plane. Ground her down in an afternoon. <laughs> Had a quarter on the arm, keep it moving. Had a bottle of bourbon to boot. Yeah, later that night, we heard Big Chuck say, Cops are in the yard. He said, Oh, Cobber, me, Jimmy, gonna go out there. Johnson car, so cover me, 
should be good. Go out there and have your head on one. Shake, cover me, Jimmy, get on one. Thank you.